So I've just been out for a couple of hours and a uh, highlight of my week was befriending a four-year-old staffy called Roger. And uh, so obviously, like what I do with every dog, go down, bend down, pat him, give him a bit of attention. And when their when they're owner spoke, I felt like doing a Jules, you know, from Pulp Fiction, saying, I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, do you know, I spent so many years in my youth thinking, uh, I'm gonna, I can't wait to get old. It's gonna be brilliant. And, uh, hey, love you. And uh, now I've got here, I'm thinking, this is crap. I want to be young. I just got to that point in middle age where I'm like, don't have any, um, what's the word? Dedication, energy to, you know, I kind of want to lose weight, but I'm thinking I could do with going to prison for a couple of months to focus on training. Either that or get myself on heroin <laughs> to, to lose weight. I just, uh, I, I've, I'm in the cycle of going to work and then when I've got my time off, typing. So I don't really have any other time. Uh, yeah, it's so easy when you're young and I've got to that age now where I'm kind of... Another dog. Very curly one. I've got to the point where I'm like, just... Lack, um, what's the word? You know, years ago when you can just eat chocolate all day and run about and be fit and doesn't matter because you, yeah, I just uh, got to that horrible middle age point where I'm too young to sit at the betting shop all day with Wrangler jeans on, Adidas Samba, talking about how Chesterfield let me down for a grand. And I'm uh, I'm too old to be Jack the Lad out on the sesh every week. So I'm just at that crap middle age point where you're just middle aged and crap and going grey and no one's really interested anymore, no one really you're not attractive anymore. I've just got to that point in life. Yeah, um, Yeah, it's kind of, I can actually, I went to London a couple of, well, I'm London, there all the time actually, I've been there three times in the last eight months, and I, I will be there this year, but I was in London about three years ago, and I'd officially crossed over from the point of, I could feel it, of, you know when you're young and you can just walk all day, I remember having about six days there and coming back and like really feeling it, I was 41 then. And I've stepped over the, like, bridge of young guy to fat middle-aged guy. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go home and do some typing. And uh, life doesn't, like, it goes so quick. It doesn't seem that long ago that I was going out as a 16-year-old with fake ID. And going out, staying out for days and... If the time I do have a drink, very rarely, I'm bad for days. It, it can take me three days to get right. So it's not much fun growing old. But then again, it is a privilege denied to many. Yeah. Anyway, do you know, like it's like in the blink of an eye, you're young. And then the highlight of my life is getting into bed on a Friday night and watching Gogglebox. Or today, uh, series six of Cobra Kai is out and I'm like, that's the highlight of my life. Um, that and doing things like befriending Staffordshire Bull Terriers called Roger. I got his life story. Yeah, it's bizarre. And that's, I find that really interesting. But uh, yeah, is anyone else kind of the same? Like... You know, I shouldn't really be like that because there's a lot of tragedy in life and, you know, not, not many people um, 
have a privilege to grow old, but I do, I feel like I'm kind of stuck in limbo at the minute. Anyone else like that or is it just me?